This is the battery on multiple cell monitors or multi-string configuration video. This is a very common question. Battery is actually the most expensive thing in your system. So often people start with a battery they can actually buy, but they need a double, triple the size. So eventually they're going to be expanding the battery and connecting more cells in parallel or more battery packs in parallel. Depending on your scenario, you can just get away connecting cells in parallel here and using the same cell monitors. But if you have really large batteries, you might be required to add some more cell monitors to keep the balancing after the task. So here we have 14 at the moment. We're going to be connecting 28 cell monitors to the same watchmode supervisor. So the watchmode supervisor comes and talks to all 14 cell monitors here. We're going to be connecting all this one. So it talks through all two packs back to the watchmode. So we're going to be removing this here and connecting to the very first cell monitor in the next pack here. So now the network is going to go all the way here and it's right here in this two pin. As soon as I connect here, you're going to see the green light coming back there. That means the continuity test is actually working. And you get the comms going, flowing through all 28 cell monitors. Right, so now let's go to the configuration. We actually have a page dedicated just for the multiple cell monitors, multi-string configuration on battery website. And here you see a photo with lots of cell monitors here, four battery packs connected to the same watch mode supervisor. So you see here, so battery pack number one, battery pack number two, battery pack number three, battery pack number four. This is the picture. It actually illustrates exactly the setup we have here at the moment. Two battery packs connected to the same watch mode supervisor. So you see it talks through the first 14 cell monitors back and then another 14 cell monitors back to the watch mode supervisor. And then you have two different ways to configure this. So let's start with the easiest way, which is the wizard setup. So now you see the system only sees 14 cell monitors. We need to tell them you actually have 28 devices connected to this battery pack. So we're going to be clicking here menu and then down to tools. And then we select wizard setup. So wizard setup is actually the easiest way to change this to multiple cell monitors. So we're actually going to be telling them now we have 28 devices in this network. So you change it from 14 to 28 or whichever number you have there in your case. Enter. And now we have to change the nominal series. This is very, very important. So we don't have 28 nominal series. You only have 14. So this is not a 96 volt battery. This is a 48 volt battery. So we change here on. And now we can actually go and change this to back to 14 nominal series for 48 volts. And then here there's another important value, which is actually the number of amp hours you have in your battery. Okay. So we change it because we're duplicating the system. So we actually go from eight to 16 amp hours, 16 amp hours in this particular scenario here. Yes. So now we're going to be clicking save and that's going to change all the settings here for you. It's a lot easier. If you already have your pack already all set up, up and running, you don't want to wipe all your previous settings. So you're going to be doing this manually. You're going to click here up in menu. You're going to be going through hardware. You're going to be doing a very similar thing here, changing uh, numbers on cell mount tab and shunt tab. Let's start with the cell mount tab. You click here, go edit, and you're going to see very similar numbers here. What we just did in wizard setup. So here we're actually going to be clicking, changing from 14 to 28 devices. And here we're going to be enabling different nominal number and then going to be changing back to 14. And they're going to be clicking save. Yes. So now we're going to be going through a shunt tab up here on top. Edit. You're going to be changing from 8 to 16 amp hour here, just like we did in wizard setup. All right. So then we're going to be clicking save. And now we're going to be going through. So now I'm going to be clicking here on menu and then we select chart and then we go back to the main screen. And then you're going to see we have 28 cell monitors here. If you don't see 28 cell monitors, you need to run the device sync. So let's go here, click on menu and you're going to click on hardware and then I'm going to click on cell monitor and run a device sync. Start. So now it's trying to detect 28 cell monitors. Let's see if you find the 28. Yep, 28, just there. 
everything good you close the tab and let's check if it's working now yes so now i have 28 cell monitors running through the same watch mode supervisor two packs so you see here up to 14 is one pack so and then from the 15 series all the way to the last one here 28 so yeah it's actually the second pack so now the watch mode supervisor see all 28 cell monitors talking properly connected properly configured properly so now it's time to parallel both battery packs together so this is very important it could be something very simple it could be a major disaster if you do something wrong okay so the both batteries here they actually need to be exactly the same voltage okay so if one battery pack is 54 volts and the other one is 43 volts you're going to be having hundreds if not thousands of amps rushing from the higher voltage to the lower voltage battery pack okay depending on your battery pack size it could be a major thing major disaster you might end up in some fire or something horrible happening there okay so make sure they're exactly the same so no point of five of a volt not point anything exactly the same voltage and then we're going to be parallel them together this concludes your battery multi-string cell monitor configuration make sure you check the battery website Thank you.